A little while back, I did a video comparing YouTube TV to Hulu Live TV, and it was a close battle. However, since that video went live, YouTube TV made some huge changes that have made it, in my opinion, the best cord cutting option on the market. Since moving to YouTube TV, I've never once looked back. So if you're thinking of making the switch, this video is going to cover everything you need to know about YouTube TV and if it's the right decision for you. First, I should make it clear that YouTube and YouTube TV are two totally separate things. Just because you can watch YouTube videos on your TV through the YouTube app does not mean you are watching YouTube TV. YouTube TV is a completely separate service that lets you watch actual live television, whereas YouTube is, well, what you're watching right now. Now, YouTube does have a paid service called YouTube Premium, and that lets you watch ad-free YouTube videos both online, offline, and even in the background on your phone. YouTube Premium also gives you full access to YouTube Music, which is Google's Spotify competitor, and you'll also get access to YouTube Originals, which is YouTube's database of actual movies, documentaries, and TV series that are all produced by YouTube. This is similar to what Netflix does with its Netflix Originals, only Netflix generally produces high-quality shows, whereas YouTube tends to pump out cringeworthy shows like The Thinning, and pretty much every other show in its database. YouTube Premium, however, does not get you access to live television. That can only be done through Google's YouTube TV subscription. One thing both YouTube TV and YouTube Premium have in common is that they both give you access to YouTube Originals. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about price. YouTube TV originally launched with a $35 a month price tag, but eventually increased that price to $40 a month. This makes sense since YouTube has invested in getting a lot more channels in its lineup, so I'd say the extra $5 a month is definitely worth it. This puts YouTube TV roughly in the same price range as some of its main competitors, such as Hulu Live TV and Sling. So what channels exactly will you get with YouTube TV? This is where the service begins to shine. Currently, YouTube TV offers one of the largest channel lineups with access to over 60 networks. This includes access to local networks in your area. If you want to see what your specific lineup would look like, click on the link in the description and then after entering your zip code, you'll be able to see the exact channel lineup for your area. You'll get access to all the major sports networks, news networks, as well as networks like TNT, TBS, and AMC, which are all full of hit shows. Now, just like its competitors, you can watch YouTube TV on any desktop or mobile device. One area that YouTube TV used to really suck at was its device limitations. It used to be that the only way you could watch YouTube TV on an actual TV was to do it through a Chromecast device. This meant the only way to control what you were watching was through the app on your phone. For me, this was a deal breaker and was a major reason why I originally started using Hulu Live TV. However, I'm happy to say that today, YouTube TV is available on pretty much every mainstream device with the exception of two notable devices, the PlayStation 4 and Amazon's Fire TV. The lack of PlayStation 4 support is likely due to the fact that Sony has its own YouTube TV competitor, and as far as why there is no YouTube TV app on the Fire TV, that's likely due to some drama happening between Google and Amazon. If you want to read more about that, I'll drop a link in the description. Hands down, one of the best things about YouTube TV is its easy to use layout. It has a very similar feel to how YouTube is laid out. YouTube TV is so simple, your grandma can use it. The experience stays consistent regardless what device you are using to watch TV. YouTube TV is divided into three sections, library, home, and live. The library tab brings up all the shows you have either recorded or are set to record. This is probably a good time to mention that with YouTube TV, you can record up to eight shows at once and have unlimited DVR space. That's right, unlimited. And unlike many cable companies who record your shows on a physical box in your home, YouTube TV records all of your shows in the cloud so you can watch your recordings wherever you go. Keep in mind, however, that these recordings are only good for nine months. 
After that, YouTube will remove them from your library. Also, your library is separate from other people in your home. With YouTube TV, you can have up to six separate users within the same subscription. Everybody gets their own login and everybody has their own personalized library. This is also a good time to point out that your family can watch TV on three separate devices at the same time. Now back to YouTube's simple layout. The next tab is the home tab and this is where YouTube TV will try and recommend a mix of live and recorded shows that it thinks you will enjoy. These shows are often broken into different genres as well as different sources such as on demand, YouTube originals, and even videos straight from YouTube. And then we have the live tab. This is where YouTube TV feels just like the traditional cable services you grew up with, which is a very good thing. The page is literally a list of channels along with what program is currently airing. That's it, nice and simple. This tab right here is why I think YouTube TV will continue to grow as fast as it has been because even the most tech illiterate person can navigate this tab, which is arguably the most important tab of YouTube TV. One of my favorite features of YouTube TV is its live thumbnails. On both mobile and desktop, the thumbnails will actually give you a live preview of the channel. So without even having to go to a channel, you can quickly see if that channel is on commercial break. Unfortunately, this feature is not available when viewing on a TV, but I'm hopeful Google will change that in the near future. So there you have it, YouTube TV. Let me know in the comments what other questions you have about YouTube TV, or if you used YouTube TV, let me know what you love or hate about the service. Let me know if you like this video by showing that like button some love, and if you want to see more tech videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel, and of course, hitting that bell notification icon so that you actually get notified. Until next time, my name is Brandon Hassler and this is Tech Audit TV.